Hello, it's good to be back. Good to be back with yet another episode of That Is Why Italy. I'm going to give the benefit of doubt, benefit of lag rather, <laughs> to Instagram and wait for a few more moments to have um, everyone join in. We have an interesting guest today who has many stories to say. I see quite a lot of familiar faces, quite a few new ones too. Okay, hi Aditya, good to see you. Hi Anusha, good to see you again. Vedank, you, I have seen you as well. Hi Safi. Okay, perfect. So how many of you all are planning on uh, going to Italy in September 22? You can let us know in the comments while we wait for our guests to arrive. Hi Rohit. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely we can help you out about uh, that university if you could just drop us a DM uh, we will answer your queries perfect okay great so yeah we couldn't uh, have this session last Tuesday I know a few of you all were asking so we were at Bangalore for an education fair and also to interact with a few universities. Um, we went, ah, I see Shruti is here, Shruti is here. Hi Shruti, one second, let me add you. Okay, I have sent you a request. Hi. Hello everyone. Guys, this is Shruti, uh, but before I introduce you, hi Shruti, so good to see you. How is it? How is the atmosphere in Milan right now? Atmosphere is confusing in Milan right now. <laughs> okay. It's in the morning, 13 degrees and 2 degrees. Yeah. So it is... Oh my God. <laughs> but you know, I'm surprised. I was like expecting you to be at one of the quaint coffee shops that you put your stories from on Instagram. I'm I'm very interested. What is that that you have for breakfast in Milan all the time? It looks really um. I have what they say here, cornetto. The cornetto we have in India, not that. Cruzo <laughs> and coffee. It's my favorite. It yeah. People don't like sweet breakfast, but I am a very sweet person, so I oh, like sweet. Yeah. I would very have good. more today, but my college being very particular has given us so many interviews. Like I have another interview after the call as well. So I have <laughs> hope anyhow. Or it would have been yeah. from there. I know, right? It would have been, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, because, yeah, and she has a very cool Instagram. You'll get a nice tour of Italy, by the way. So yes, before uh, before we carry on with our conversation, let me introduce uh, Shruti, our guest for today. This is Shruti Oja from the University of Catholica del Sacro Cuore, uh, popularly known as University Catholica. And she's currently pursuing her one-year specializing master's course in strategic management for global business. So that's that's quite interesting. Shruti, can you tell us why did you choose this specific course at this specific university? Oh, yeah, I have a very small and cute story. So okay. I did my master's in uh, accounting and finance, which we call MCOM in India, guys. Yeah, it's master's in accounting and finance here. <laughs> so I did that and I wanted to get a PhD in strategic management from London. Yeah. But because... Um, we are not aware of the procedure. Mm -hmm. I think it was quite late and I was late for admissions. So um, I, my one year was about to be wasted and I started for looking different courses that I could do. And I came across strategic management for global business from Catholica. Okay. 
it was from italy which is uh, actually not that known for business studies it's more known for fashion so i was a bit skeptical at the start when i saw it's in italy but then i went to the curriculum i uh, spoke to the coordinators who were like always there for me so it was very fascinating because they were covering a lot of things like they were claiming okay. to cover a lot of things in a span of one year and i can say very proudly that i'm pretty satisfied more than satisfied uh with the curriculum with everything i had like answers in my mind but i couldn't speak in class i used to give present yeah. but i used to stammer but as you can see now <laughs> thanks to katolika <laughs> and thanks to uh what they have done for us being very uh true to what they have said actually so that's yeah. why this course because of the curriculum and it's pretty much good i have that's like, so, so cool yeah i have see guys i really want to uh, this thing this misconception mm-hmm. that many indians have mm-hmm. about abroad studies which are yeah. our relatives our friends they say that studying in abroad is easy is cake walk guys no it is not <laughs> nahi is pe is pe is pe i have many more questions for you about this seriously it's not no, no. but you know i absolutely wouldn't believe it when i listen to you right now like i listen to you speak so confidently i cannot cannot believe the fact that you're saying you used to stammer in class in india i mean what was it are the professors yeah and i you yeah. know oh, oh okay uh, when i'll be in front of strangers i won't have that problem but okay. it, i didn't have this problem in india it started okay. i was very okay i was very good with everything there and okay. it was different i don't know why so it improved because of the repetition it has yeah they have in yeah. it very cool but the professors also must have been very helpful no to help you overcome this and everything like not only professors I, the helpfulness started from that that time from that okay time. rolled the professors were ready to speak to uh, foreign students or even the other students uni italia was always there guys it's not paid but yes they were always there <laughs> they made the procedure <laughs> very easy for me i am not saying i'm again clarifying it is not easy it becomes comfortable when you have good people around you so i had uni, uni italia and i had my university they were always there even after i enrolled i used to speak to federica uh if i had any problems so uh, about the reviews uh, i used to ask professors about it and they mm-hmm. said that i am thinking that i'm bad or something or like this it is not the case you are improving and it really gave me uh, confidence to improve so yes it's curriculum it's the amazing professors i'm in i'm doing it with and all the professors have come to india have visited mumbai oh nice it's a very different environment and a very different side i see of india when i come here when i came here that is so true that is so true and it's so important to have a strong support system you know but before i come to that i see a lot of new people who have joined in so guys we are speaking to shruti oja today and she is from the university of katolika and she is doing her one year specializing masters course in strategic management for global business uh, for the ones who don't know what a one year specializing masters course is it's a masters degree uh, a masters course rather which will um, help you with a more job oriented you know more professional still course so it's a more of a niche course so i saw a lot of people joining in lately so i was like okay let them let us get them back to but yes like we were speaking it's it's so important to have a strong support system you know so i'm glad glad that you know uni italia was there for you and ariana was there for you from catolica so that's there i was just <laughs> Oh my god but they that's very cool in fact yeah you were speaking italy it uh, you thought that italy is known for fashion i want to bring that in and uh, ask you about your conversations with federica i have heard a lot i've heard a lot about your talks about okay i'm i'm going to leave that to you <laughs> sorry so uh, before coming uh, to milan i called federica and i mm-hmm. asked her about everything i could from be- whether should i buy electronics from your yeah guys i had never been to a foreign country i had traveled a lot in india but i had not uh, you know traveled to a foreign country yeah. new for me so, <laughs> okay i didn't want it to carry adapter everywhere so i called yeah. her everything 
from clothes from what should i buy for where should i live to everything but guys when you come here and when you see them i'll tell you don't bring anything india <laughs> is running 2 3 years behind in fashion guys even mumbai delhi everyone guys we are back and don't break our hearts like that no <laughs> broke my heart imagine i had bought clothes darling <laughs> my heart and my money so yeah <laughs> i can imagine i can imagine but now i can i can see the influence of italian fashion on you on all your instagram posts so that is there but yes i mean it's really cool someone in the comments uh, literally said that it's so cool to have a director like federica like some and i agree to like you know someone who's at the director level um uh, the fact that she's always available on phone or whatsapp and we can just you know students can ask her about uh anything like you asked her about uh, fashion there's someone else who spoke to her about uh, what pasta do i buy i want to make a meal for all my italian friends and i was like that is so sweet and that's really nice uh, so okay she, yeah. he was sharing me links to things that i should buy and i have to buy it's a big thing to like someone who is at that position doing something like this for you in so much detail it's really nice and about the fashion when you dress up in the morning and you wear that coat and you walk on road in heels guys keep the moment before every i know it for education and this fashion yes absolutely <laughs> and yeah and nee i was thinking catholica ka campus is also quite huge you know so you might be like meeting quite a lot of international students and everyone all dressed up and everything and all i i, I like there are five campuses by the way for everyone who's watching catholica has five campuses spread all across italy uh you studying at the milan one right yeah i'm doing at the milan one yep yeah the, the fashion hub i had no clue how big catholica was um yeah till coming year when i met different people and i came to know that other students were not okay uh from in catholic and they like you got selected in catholica that's so nice because they rejected other students and i had no clue i thought they are selecting everyone what's the big deal but <laughs> <laughs> later i came to know that being a student of catholica is such a big thing and now absolutely I Because no no completely quite a prestigious university and the fact that you know the choices are also endless like you say there's business there's psychology there's accounting there's linguistics there's uh, medicine also like you know there's such a wide range of courses that they offer so that's like like uh, now i'm planning to do something in esg it is like environmental social governance and it's okay. that is like not available right now yeah. because it's okay this so there are not many universities but catholica has already started working on it started so. doing that that being updated and everything and there are different campuses depends on which one you are yeah. in campus is mainly for the italian courses and yeah. you get to a different uh, campus to go on but they That's all are and being, they're all amazing they're beautiful <laughs> The best part is when in breaks you get to go. They have like these big trees and open spaces to sit and yes. you're living what you have seen. That moment. Oh my God, the actual moment. I know. Smoking. Some people even drink because it's too hectic sometimes. Like <laughs> <laughs> different areas. Now it's summer, so they have put tables, chairs, and everything for students. So you can just sit and do gup shup. and just really stress a bit which is a lot you have lost a lot of friends in catholica i realize are they all international students or are they indians or like a lot of gupshup which is happening the gupshup makes me wonder are they indian are they international are they italians no so at first like when we had our first yeah i told you that i don't have much friends or something like that so i don't have friends even now but classmates yes and my sister has like 21 girls in her class so they all yeah. are my friends and they came over uh, for diwali party at our home all the italian okay. wearing indian outfit guys wearing all in yes it's a uh, uh, not a like it's not a private university it's a government university which i got selected in sorry i couldn't see the name my eyes just went sorry what was i saying are uh, you were speaking about the diwali party yeah so they all came home and we were wearing bindi and everything so they yeah. 
Bindi's put us Bindi, and I didn't had so many Bindi's. Bindi, yeah. Designer to put them, so they are very welcoming. We had like most expensive sweets and gifts at our house. We were. It was our first festival away from home, guys. I'm 25. I never left my home, never. Okay. And this was like my really first time that I hmm. left yeah. my. Home. Post festival away from my family, mm-hmm. and I celebrate a lot. I celebrate a lot. Yeah, a lot. Very difficult span, but with so many Italians and everyone, it really yeah. makes. And they, it's like my sister's course is more of creative, so they all are very okay. yeah. compassionate. Whereas okay. to my course, people are very mm-hmm. professional towards each other. So I can't okay. say. friends they are my classmates or colleagues i can say but that but that is true you still get to learn a lot from them you know different cultures and all and one really good thing about catholica is that you know uh, what do you say that there are uh, they have representatives in different countries like we have um, an indian representative here and the fact that there's ariana there who's helping out students so there's so much help there's so much help that's happening and students it's a very welcoming this i'm just going to take one comment i can't um, recollect was it kunal who asked kunal asked if the applications are open yes yes applications are open at catholica uh, the first call in fact there's a deadline on the 14th of april so i would ask you to hurry up a little you can drop us a dm if you have any questions or something but yes the first call is ending currently on the 14th of april kunal i if it was kunal who asked this question hope this got answered and yes shruti sorry carry on it just reminded me of my time <laughs> the last day the submission the this the that i can imagine i want to yeah uni tell you at what stage did we start helping you and like what what were we helping you out with yeah i had no clue about uni tell you before i okay. gave I gave my interview. I huh. didn't. Know, there's no written test. Oh, there was no written test. And I was written like, test. interview. I'm going to crack it. <laughs> there's no problem. So I gave my interview. Um, I got selected that time. Yeah. Ariana. Uh, she told me about Uni Italia. She gave me Pedrica's number. She told okay. me. Okay. Because she understood, I'm a very confused child. <laughs> she was like, dude, you just speak to her. And since then, like, all the things. Hmm. Had this POV thing that Italy needs, uh, that you have yeah. to apply for. It's like translation of your uh, mark sheet in Italy, like that. So for that, for visa, for everything, I had Unitalia, and the process was like, of course, hectic but smooth. Like my visa didn't get rejected or something like that. It it was easy and nice, and I actually got it on time because uh, they act. you need alia help me get it a little earlier because okay. my we were coming together we both got a yeah. but her visa came earlier than mine and then okay. within two days i don't know what pedrica did what happened i got my visa and within a difference of a week i was here okay that's nice that's nice i'm so happy <laughs> and i like yeah. um, don't jump without having people by your side that's true and i'm i'm so glad that you know you had you even ariana was there and like you know you had this nice support system and now your sisters friends and all of you all there's this nice nice beautiful warmth around you that is that's beautiful warmth and when and, you see their lifestyle hmm. lifestyle yeah so different playing tennis going to aqua gym playing pool is so normal and it's like uh, uh, going and having ice cream for them so it has become like that for us also because we sit in that circle and we are doing things that wouldn't have Absolutely. been possible like for example but talking about i'm sorry for interrupting you but uh, are you just mentioned about a different year uh, you were do also doing an internship right Can- i doing in india but i left working like two years back because i was doing okay marketing. because i remember you mentioning uh, some presentations and in front of the ceo of cap gemini and oh yeah 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 so it was about uh, the curriculum of course that time we started okay yeah I I want everyone here to know because that'll be really inspiring for everyone who's applying to Italy right now. Yeah, because it's not only in my course, guys. So I have mm-hmm. six, seven uh, Indian friends in six to seven different courses. There's creative, yeah. design, there's product designing. Someone is doing fashion. I'm doing business. I'm like finance, mm-hmm. strategy, etc. All the people have this opportunity of presenting uh, their 
projects their work in front of ceos of big companies like i did uh, capgemini i'll explain capgemini because capgemini is something that is known in india there are yeah. uh, brands as well like wami i presented in front of wami that's um, okay. that's like bisleri in india uh, it's a uh, okay. and here so yeah. you have to prepare your work your strategy as per uh, the big company and i have presented in front of them and without stammering because it's a lot of work that the college put on you they prepare yeah. for uh, interviews absolutely ops but i just want you guys to be very clear with the curriculum keep asking them questions because at times people come here and then they are like oh not said because you didn't read the curriculum so please be very clear with the curriculum that's all otherwise that whatever they, they do i have that much in past it's the seventh month and i have not faced any problem but that's so good you know for someone who's studying global business and someone also asked in the comments i can't once again i have to scroll who is this uh, steelth i'm sorry i can't get your name but yeah he asked if there's a finance and economics course yes yes there are many and for someone like shruti who's studying global business the fact that you're getting to make actual real life presentations while you're studying that will really really help um, with respect to uh, the career aspects ahead so shruti what are your plans for the future i know you mentioned them in brief but uh, Uh, about the course and everything can you elaborate a little more on that and how you're planning uh, on continuing in catholica itself right yeah so for now yeah. um if as per our curriculum we have to do internship of 300 hours uh, okay the, the internship yeah. thing that my college is getting for me like not getting okay. but we have many job offers that we have to apply for they prepare us even for the interview they prepare our cv everything i just have to okay. give it they they give us mock interviews which happens in india as well and they give review and they you know keep giving you mock interviews until you are prepared for the okay interview so for next like till september october my plan is fixed later if catholica gets esg course i want to uh, be a strategic consultant specialized okay. in so if it gets that course i'm going to continue in catholica or else yeah. i'm moving to a different country because i want to pursue this course okay 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 that's that's very interesting huh? that's very interesting and that that's true like any i come here because before this i had no clue about what i want to be in life okay since i'm here since i'm studying since there is only study in my life i have finally figured out who and what i want to be and i feel everybody who is you know thinking hmm. or has a question or is hmm. in doubt guys just do it just do it that is true. and, and yeah. the fact that you were saying that you know you also considering other countries a com- common question that comes up to us is like oh is a degree in italy valid like of course it is valid and it is very accepted it is very prestigious and you have shruti here as proof when and you oh, start, yeah you will realize why it's prestigious that's uh, what the case is actually that Because, is true for example i have when it comes to people i have people mm-hmm. Russia I have people from Serbia and yeah we have a lot of conflicts these days <laughs> thank god i don't have anyone from ukraine <laughs> so uh there are people from germany so there are so many people who are coming to italy just to study i don't think so that it's not prestigious or something but yes there is a myth that people have about italy that it's not for business course or something. absolutely it's it's but, a myth and you can see that with the kind of success you have <laughs> yeah and नहीं 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 वो तो है आई एम गोइंग टू इंटरप्ट फॉर अ मिनट हाय अली आई एम सो सॉरी आई डिडंट रिकॉग्नाइज योर अकाउंट अली इज वन ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट्स सो ही हैड आस्क द क्वेश्चन टू यू अबाउट फाइनेंस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स सो जस्ट वांटेड टू टेक अ मिनट टू से हेलो टू हिम हेलो 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 अली एंड यस इफ पीपल आर लुकिंग एट सो देयर इन एट कैथोलिका देयर इज यू हैव अंडर ग्रेजुएट डिग्रीज you have uh, what do you say a normal masters programs you have a one year specializing masters that shruti is doing right now so there's international business this corporate communication there's international marketing and management there's luxury goods management that's something which uh, people keep asking us a lot about and with respect to the undergraduate programs also there's a lot of um, uh, what do you say options there's international relations and global affairs 
Uh, there's medicine and surgery, which is uh, quite sought after. I see a lot of uh, our students who are going to be going to Catholica for medicine, uh, who, are, who are aspiring for uh, medicine are there. Uh, the psychology, so so huge, huge, huge uh, number of courses. So for the ones who have just joined in, 14th April is the deadline for the first call at Catholica. Pre-enrollment is also open. You're, so don't get confused between applications and pre-enrollment. One very important thing to say. You'll have any, any, any questions. Please feel free to um, drop us a message uh, on a DM. We'll be there to help you. So I can see a lot of comments. I'm so sorry I'm not able to address all of you. But this in brief will reply to what you all have been asking. If you all have questions and if I have missed out on answering, just, just uh, get back to us on DM. And yes, Shruti, I'll let you speak. Sorry, there were way too many questions coming in. So I was like, I need to address them before the inbox blows. <laughs> but yes, what were we speaking about? Yeah, you were speaking about the student life also. Uh, you Can you, okay, so the title of our series is, series is like, that is why Italy. And we have a lot of students, like we were talking about international validity of the course and everything and like, why Italy? So what would you like to say to students like why Italy? What is there? What is different between the education system we have here? Is it more all round or like? See, education system, what we have in India is all theoretical. Mm -hmm. When you go to work, it is something that when you start working, you're like, oh, it's not worth it or it's not uh, related to that. When it comes to year, uh, what mm -hmm. I know is that it's very personal. I don't know what course you are doing in India. But I did my master's, like I did my 10 to 15 years of education. And this is what I feel in a matter of seven months. I know what I'm doing. It was not like that when I was in India. Um, yeah. They tell you that you have to give presentation in abroad and the exam is done. But nobody tells you that the presentation is upon what they are teaching and you have to pay. It, like attention in class and you have to make notes because you have to make presentation depend like the presentation is not made on any topic you want no you have to make it on what you have studied and the written exam is also based on that but the written exam that you give here is way different it is not theoretical they ask you a very different kind of question i won't be able to articulate it because to be frank i am still figure out figuring out what actually happens in the written exam. The questions they give you is not uh, theoretical or something. They give you a very okay. practical question depending on the theory, on the sessions you have attended and you oh. have to really use your brain to write that. They don't fail you, but by looking at the mask, um, marks, <laughs> I'm so used to saying mask. <laughs> Look at the mask you know, make a yeah. Uh, you have not scored good or something. If you fail, you have to give re-exams like India, but it is not on, it doesn't come on your certificate. That is the only difference. But the uh, curriculum, the way they teach is very different, is very different than India. Is yeah, I remember uh, our conversation, you know, earlier where we were speaking about, uh, what do you say, with Federica, while we were speaking about how there's like a, a little more all-round uh, development that is being looked into as well. Uh, so it's not just... Uh, learning the syllabus and getting out of it. It's also, yeah. Actually, so, mugging is not an option here. You can't mug up and go to yeah. the paper. Learn some principles, of course. That, but you have to really use your brain. You have mm -hmm. to use truth. You have to use your expressions because your marks that you get, your entire, yeah. everything is on. Like the group work. For example, yes, I forgot to mention, I had problems working in group, for instance. But now... Okay. Is I have all the projects that are group based, all the terms that have group presentations, I have yeah. become in that as well. That one problem. Now, I had another problem of if you tell me working for, in a chaotic environment, like if you tell me there yeah. are 50 quest uh, one question in front of 50 people, you have to solve it right now, I can't do it. But yeah. now, as the curriculum goes, it has become a habit for me now. This Definitely. is the first reason I like to yes. give by Italy. I have second reason is oh. when I decided that I want to come mm -hmm. and I was selected and everything was done. Um, there are many countries, guys, that you can travel from here. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, firstly, not expensive. Like in 700, 800 rupees, you get tickets, return tickets for Netherlands, 
portugal spain uh, you can go to switzerland i had been to switzerland in christmas and i went to france by boat and okay i think this plan wouldn't have existed if i was in india firstly and second um i wouldn't have ever traveled so this was the second reason like traveling yeah. see as the curriculum goes as i said i have different friends yeah. in different this thing courses it is hectic and you can't do part time job as of now because the okay. course have left their job because it's hectic and they are not able okay. to but yes on saturdays sundays you surely can like work ah. I'm hearing this for the first time, you know, because we uh, see quite a lot of our students doing some very interesting part-time jobs. So maybe, maybe this course is a little hectic or something. Yeah, I am in because uh, the other two I have in the ones who are in product designing, they are yeah. there for two years. It's a two-year course. Okay. So I don't know if product designing is for three or four years. So sometimes yeah. getting part-time becomes difficult. But okay. uh, have some German friends who are working, like they have. Okay. Some- they are working for are they us. also doing business uh, global business they are with me uh, actually uh, okay what does global business cover though like you know you, you since you were speaking about the course being hectic i'm suddenly curious like what are the papers like it's like you have strategy uh, you don't have mathematics but you have finance um, okay not like the finance we have in india it's different here <laughs> okay <laughs> was very confident because i had done my masters in it so it's yeah. very different you feel like being in the uh, square one of studies yeah. when you go abroad because even the asset and liability sides are different in oh okay corporate strategy uh, this time we have operations you have entrepreneurship i guess it's because of the course like entrepreneurship everything is about idea and innovation and strategy hmm. everything revolves around that and absolutely whether uh, for something or history or something it's very specific to what i want to become consultant the thing i the first call i had made and asked her if i want to become this is this the right path because i was a fresher and okay. i had worked guys i did only yeah i am a spoiled child i did only <laughs> two internships in my life 25 years of life and i got ill treated so i left doing it i left oh. it to, i was back to studies i realized uh, having a good degree is what you will get you respect yeah. this i don't know it's right or wrong but yeah i left it <laughs> so i didn't had experience so i thought maybe yeah. master program something someone with experience but it was purely a fresher based course so okay it was a fresher and it's for the people who, who are freshers and i feel okay. it like you have a perception i feel about yeah. uh, this that uh, having internships everything mm-hmm. is they're doing it from 18 17 16 mm-hmm. but they have many courses uh, which are okay. only for freshers to get them into the world of working and i feel i nice. got it's quite yeah yeah really you see me you feel no i think it's nice mm-hmm. uh, that i didn't work because i have a very um, what can i say plain view i don't have like mixed views about anything it's very pure okay. working i don't it just gets to the point the the others okay. think a lot do this that blah blah but it's very clear for me so when the coordinator very interesting very different perspective huh? <laughs> no when the coordinator i think, yes. I think you should believe them they know when they look at your mark sheets okay at your profile that whether you are suitable for this course or not okay and one advantage is that the entire course is in english that something someone asks is the course is in english is like yes yes the course is entirely in english otherwise that be like you know that's one one of the biggest advantages of higher education in italy is that the courses are completely in english majority of them so you can like just carry on from uh, what you've left at but yeah. yeah that brings me to a question for you like what advice do, would you like to give to students who want to go to italy about learning italian or learning cooking or like guys yeah. only thing that you don't have to believe when your coordinator mm-hmm. and professors tell you <laughs> that don't learn italian it's not important guys it's wrong don't believe them because i am here i am facing difficulties in socializing if you have majority of people italian in your course mm-hmm. you will face problems in socializing you will <laughs> find yourself 
acting in situations where you actually need help and nobody is understanding italian i mean english sorry mm, no okay. i thought knowing english is going to solve half of the problems in italy or in any foreign country i thought yeah. it's open language it's not and it doesn't uh, what can i say suit to it because italians don't speak um But you know that's like our country also like you come to maharashtra and there's like so many shops and all you go to you can't speak in english you need to know hindi and like chalo hindi at least mumbai mein chal jata hai but you look at some of the other smaller places you don't know marathi and you're like oh my god where am i Engl- i thought like you know yeah going to a grocery store and picking a product behind which it's not written in english this does not happen in india so don't rel- if you don't want to use google translator everywhere i will suggest use it, uh, like start learning italian if you have time and if you are sure that you want to get into some course in italy the only place you'll be safe and happy is going to be your university <laughs> otherwise <laughs> or else if you are lucky like me to have mm-hmm. like my sister's friend like i'm lucky because she made good friends <laughs> so if you are lucky no yeah i think italians are quite nice you know like what yeah, you're saying yeah. about india you're lucky to have if you're lucky to have good friends i think yeah people will be lucky to have good friends because i i at least personally from my experience i've realized that italians are very welcoming and very accommodating so <laughs> that that is pedrica keep her aside he's from rome <laughs> No, no, other Italians also. <laughs> But okay, इस पे फुर्सत से डिबेट करेंगे. We are almost nearing the end of the live का time, which is uh, you know dedicated. So I want to quickly ask people in the chat box if you all have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Okay, about the education loan, uh, Vinay, I'll have to speak to you a little more in detail about that and understand little. Can you drop us a DM? We'll call you up. Uh, Raj had a question. Okay, we are almost uh, okay. We are almost running out of time for the live, but ठीक है. Yeah, it was देखो इतना अच्छा interesting conversation था that I completely lost track of time and the half an hour has been uh, exceeded. But thank you, Shruti. Thank you very, very, very much. It was so nice speaking to you. Uh, for the ones who joined in later, a quick reminder that Shruti is from the University of Catholica and that applications are. open currently and the first deadline is uh, very 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 close it's on the 14th of april uh, you'll need any help regarding catholica just drop us a dm and we'll uh, get you in touch with the in country representative of catholica so you can you know directly speak to the university and get all your queries cleared and like uh, shruti mentioned this was really helpful for her last year when she was speaking to ariana and you know tha so that's that but shruti thank you so very much this was a very insightful conversation any last words from your side for aaj ka live thank you for giving me this opportunity because i so wanted to speak about my experience <laughs> on a platform i'm really thankful for all the viewers and guys not specifically about course but you if you have any questions or da- doubts <laughs> i am indian and i'm here to help you don't <laughs> thought, please drop me I am always there to help you guys anytime. That's so nice of you. Thank you, Shruti. Thank you. And milte hai. There's lots, lots more uh, to be spoken about. I would love to connect with you again after a few months and uh, learn more about more Italian stories and your experiences and uh, more. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you say? Different cornettos that you've tried and different coffees that you've tried. And uh, I'd love to see. Yeah, your course. Yeah, sorry. I didn't know you. Telling them that when you come here, you have to try ginseng. Okay, it's a call. Noted. <laughs> Chalo, I'll take your leave with that. Bye, bye, Shruti. Thank you. And uh, one second, I think you'll have to hit the cross at the end. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Me. This is yeah, probably. <laughs> to see you, bye, bye, Shruti, and for everyone who was attending, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It was beautiful to have you all, and we'll be having our next episode for that is why Italy uh, next week. Uh, we'll be putting up a post about that, so hope to see you there too. Uh, I can see the notice for the DMs, but I'm sorry, I can't uh, reply to them right now. As soon as the live is over, we'll get to the DMs and reply to you. All right. So thank you, thank you. See you. Have a good week ahead, and thank you, Shruti. Bye bye. Okay. Ah uh, yes, Ali. Yes, I will definitely help you with that. 
and uh, yes you'll have any further queries uh, the comments might get missed out now but if you'll have any further queries Uni Italia is here for you feel free to drop us a DM and we'll be there to help you out thank you take care bye bye